Joining us now at the board is our co-host and evening news reporter, James Fidua, to tell us more about this rumored recession and Biden's hand in all of it. James? Yeah, thanks, Nadia. So I, I want to, s the, the, the big word right now, the big, the scary R word, which you just said, recession, that's been floating around the news lately. What exactly is it? Are we in a recession? But, but before I get into that and this you know, scary chart behind me, I want to play a clip that sort of started this whole thing from Janet Yellen, the uh, Treasury of the U.S., uh, I'm sorry, the Secretary of the U.S. Treasury. Uh, she gave an interview to NBC's uh, Meet the Press. Let's see what she had to say. A common definition of recession is two negative quarters of GDP growth, or at least that's something that's been true in past recessions. When we've seen that, mm -hmm. there has usually been a recession. I do want to emphasize what a recession really means is a broad-based contraction yeah. in the economy. And even if that number is negative, we are not in a recession now. And um, I, I would, you know, warn that we should be um, not, not characterizing that as a recession. I understand that, but you're splitting hairs. I mean, if the technical definition is two quarters of contraction, you're saying that's not a recession? That's not the tech. No, that's not the technical definition. So yeah, essentially what she said there is that a recession is not, as it has been commonly understood for time immemorial, that a, you know, a recession is two consecutive quarters, these are quarters right here, of negative GDP growth. She's saying it's not that. But so let's explore that. Going over to the chart here, this is the you know, real GDP of America. Um, I want to focus in, you know, the big scary one right here. This is the, you know, the, the qu second quarter of 2020. This is the COVID lockdowns. Everyone was forced inside, couldn't go out, couldn't buy anything, couldn't go to restaurants. So that we, we all remember that and hopefully we won't forget that. But then, you know, you see this gigantic uh, uptick right here. This is, uh, you know, people, the, the lockdowns were starting to wane. People were getting out. They're going to restaurants. They're going to buy things. They're saying, just get me out of here. I want to go live my life. But I also want to draw attention to all of this right here, too. This is sort of, you know, the end of 2020 and the all of 2021. This is, again, people getting out and buying stuff. But it's also the government handing out free money like Candy. Uh, we saw this in the uh, unemployment benefits, the stimulus checks that went out, but also in uh, PPP loans, and that is the Paycheck Protection Program. That went out to business owners who told the government, hey, I'm dying here, COVID's killing me, I need money. And those, those applications for PPP loans weren't really, you know, they, they didn't have time to go through and, you know, say who actually needs this money. So they just handed them out. Hundreds of thousands of dollars went to these businesses and, and some really didn't need it. Obviously the airports, the restaurants, the hotels, they needed it, they were dying. But uh, you know, some other businesses really didn't. So what happens when you give people free money? Well, they're gonna go and spend it. They're gonna buy that house, they're gonna buy that boat. So that is what all of this is. You know, People getting this money and they're going out and spending it. What the Biden administration is saying is that we had all this growth right here and you're afraid of this? That's not a recession. What are you talking about, you fools? Okay, I could see that. You, you know, you have such a massive uptick right here and, and all this growth and we go down by this much. Okay, I could see that. But what Fox News and all these other you know, conservative uh, YouTube economists are saying is that, well, let's dig into some of like, the, the temperature, taking the temperature of the, of the American population here. I wanna go into the, the real earnings. Now the real earnings are uh, what, what the American is, is getting in relation to what the, uh, the current inflation, the, the, the prices of, of things that they need to buy, food, services, all this stuff. So, you know, the, the, an American could be getting the same amount of pay, but the inflation right now is driving the prices so far up that that paycheck doesn't get as much as it used to. So the real earnings are down. Um, consumer sentiment. This is the University of Michigan uh, sort of measure into how the average consumer is feeling about how they can live and thrive in this economy. That's down more than it has ever been. They've been keeping track of this for quite some time and that's down more than it has ever been. Now I, I see I'm running out of time so I'm going to skip to the, the household debt. That is up more than it has ever been. Trillions of dollars. The, the, the American people is in debt right now. 
And that's only going to get worse because the uh, Federal Reserve just hiked the interest rates up three quarters of a percentage point. So a lot of people thought they should have done more, but they only did three quarters. But that's going to affect people trying to uh, pay their credit card bill, pay a mortgage, get a house. And um, I want to play really fast if I can. The, uh, obviously, inflation is killing people, and, and the Biden administration admits that. But I want to play Brian Deese. He is the director of the National Economic Council. Let's see what he had to say about people trying to survive inflation. Obviously, the, the high prices are hitting Americans very hard, but uh, they're, they're in, in a way that is different from some places that are facing famine, for example. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but I think if you look at the sort of core elements of economic resilience, the United States is, uh, is better positioned. So there you saw it right there. He, he, he essentially said, hey, we're doing bad. Inflation's really bad, guys. But we're not as bad as these like, third world countries that are in famine right now. Mm -hmm. That message is, I'm guessing, probably not going to fly with the American people. And although the Biden administration is saying, hey, you know, this, this isn't as bad when you take into account all of this. Okay, sure. The, the, the American is is the average American is suffering right now in the paycheck. Their the gas prices are super high. Their grocery bill is super high. So, th thanks a lot, Biden administration. Yeah, and thank you, James. Great job. I'm going to pass the baton over to Joe. Serving Catholics.